So the right hand rule tends to be a complicated subject sometimes, uh, primarily because it, uh, it incorporates multiple directions uh, for multiple things. So let's start here with a ferromagnetic material. And with that ferromagnetic material, we're going to wrap a coil. And then we're going to talk about a current that is going through that coil. So what the right hand rule says, the right hand rule says for a coil, uh, sometimes this coil is referred to as a solenoid, and then you have your ferromagnetic material inside. Now the purpose of the, ferrom the ferromagnetic material is simply to add more to the magnetic field. It's not necessary to create a magnetic field, but it does amplify the magnetic field and makes the electromagnet much stronger. So with this, you see the current is coming in this side, over here on the left, and then it goes over the front of the, electro, or the, the ferromagnetic material and then behind. So your right hand, what you do is your fingers follow the direction of the current, your thumb's gonna follow the direction of the magnetic field inside the coil. So my fingers, if you notice, go over and then behind, which means my thumb is pointed to the left, making the left side the north pole. Because the magnetic field always points out of a north and into a south. So with the current coming in over here, then that means that the north is going to be on the left and the south is going to be on the right. So this creates a magnetic field around this electromagnet that looks a lot like a bar magnet. Let's try another one. So we start with our ferromagnetic material again, and instead of going over and then behind, let's come behind and then in front of And then we're going to have our current come in the same side again. Now because the, the uh, wire is coiled the opposite direction, now the current comes in behind and then in front of. So if I take my right hand, and this time I have to flip it over because it goes behind and then in front of. So my fingers go behind and then in front. So my thumb is now pointed to the right. So that makes this the North Pole and this the south pole. So our magnetic field is coming out of the north and into the south. So if I were to map the magnetic field so we can do another one So now it's coming in on the right. So if you take a moment, think about your right hand rule and what direction the magnetic field is going to be. That will be your thumb. So with the current coming in on this side, then that means my fingers are going to follow the current, but you'll notice that the wire goes behind and then in front of. So I'm going to flip my hand over. It goes behind and then in front. So my thumb is pointed over here, making this the north magnetic pole. And if this is the north magnetic pole, then this is the south. Now the reason this is the north is because the magnetic field points out of the north. All right, so our magnetic field will come out of the north and back into the south. All right, one more. Think about your right hand rule. All right, your fingers follow the direction of the current, and then your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field inside the coil. So our fingers follow the direction of the current, and this time they go over and then behind, over and then behind, so you see my thumb is pointed over here, making this a north pole and that a south pole. So basically what you're doing is your fingers are following the direction of the current for a solenoid, and then your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field. So if the current goes behind and then in front of, your thumb's going to point to the right. If it goes in front of and then behind, it's going to point to the left. So we get a magnetic field that looks like that. The next demonstration I want to show you about a solenoid is not just drawing a picture, but actually showing you a coiled wire. Now you'll notice right here that this red wire is coiled around. It goes over top and then behind this rather crude uh, piece of uh, piece of wood with some compasses on it. Now you'll notice all the compasses are pointing in the same direction because right now those compasses are aligned with Earth's magnetic field. However, since they're inside the coil, they will line up with the magnetic field of the coil when I actually plug this in. 
So right now it's unplugged. There's no current flowing through it. So the, the magnetic field is a, a, the compasses are aligned with Earth's magnetic field. Now this, this piece of wood doesn't really do anything other than just hold my, uh, my compasses. And I want to show you that a, that a magnetic field can be created without the ferromagnetic material, even though the ferromagnetic material makes it uh, better, makes it a better electromagnet, uh, you don't necessarily need it. All right, so here I have a battery. This battery has a positive end and a negative end. So the positive end is where the electricity is going to come out of, and the negative end is where it's going to go into. So we're going to connect this to the positive end. And then I want you to notice when I connect it to the negative end, what happens to the, uh, the compasses. All right, you notice they all moved and they all point this way. So let's use our right hand rule to see if that is what we should get. All right, so we see that the positive end, the current's gonna come in over here and then it goes behind and then in front of the compass. So the thumb, my thumb is pointed that way making this a north pole. So you see the compasses are all aligned with the magnetic field pointing out this way, making this end a north magnetic pole. All right, so with that being said, let's let's take these back off, okay? And you'll notice that the compasses, again, align with Earth's magnetic field pointed that way. Uh, so let's, let's switch this around, okay? Now we have the current, we're gonna have the current coming in the other direction. So our positive end over here. And now we attach the, uh, well, well, before we do that, let's look and predict with the right hand rule what happens. The positive end, the current comes in over here, and then it goes in front of and then behind the coil. So my thumb is now pointed this way, meaning that direction, this end, should be my north magnetic pole because that's where the magnetic field is going to come out of. All right, so that's our prediction. Let's actually see if that happens. I attach it, and you can see all the compasses actually aligning with the magnetic field of this coil, making this end over here a north and that end a south. So this is an electromagnet, and the reason it's called an electromagnet is because basically uh, it'll create a magnetic field, but it uses electricity, so we can actually turn the uh, mag magnetism on and off. So we have a, a wire that comes over here, and you'll notice that wire goes over the nail, and the nail is my ferromagnetic material, goes over the nail and then behind over here, and then the, the wire goes behind and then back out. All right, so we're gonna create a, a magnetic field with this using the current. Uh, so the first thing I wanna show you is I wanna show you that there is a this compass right here. All right, now this compass is aligned with Earth's magnetic field. So if I take it around the electromagnet, you'll notice that it, it doesn't really move very much. It's, it's still aligned with Earth's magnetic field, okay? So now we're gonna take this, our power source, and you'll see that this end is a positive and that end is a negative. We're gonna connect it. So now that we have our, uh, our electromagnet hooked up to the electricity, you'll see that the compass is actually now affected by the electromagnet. So just like with a bar magnet, we can, we can take the direction of the magnetic field at any point around here. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're, we're gonna figure out what the magnetic field looks like. So at this point, it points this way. And at this point, it points this way. All right, and let's do that for all a, a lot of points around the electromagnet. So now with this electromagnet, you can see a clear indication of the magnetic field around this. Now, if you go back to a bar magnet, what a bar magnet looks like, it looks identical to this, where the magnetic field is coming out of this end and into that end. All right. So the, the current flows from positive to negative. Now I say positive charge and negative charge, it's actually the electrons are, are what's moving through the circuit, but the current goes from positive to negative. So as the magnetic, or I'm, I'm sorry, as the current flows from over here, then that means that the current is going over the nail and then behind. So if we, we look, use our right hand rule, our right hand rule goes over the nail and then behind, meaning my thumb is now pointed out of this end over here, making this my magnetic north pole and this my magnetic south pole. 
Now our right hand rule predicts that, but the magnetic field shows that. And you can see that the current or the, the magnetic field is pointing away from this end and then toward this end. So the magnetic field comes out of the north and into the south. So with a uh, bar magnet, what we use is we use iron filings to actually map out the magnetic field around um, the bar magnet. So we're going to do the same thing with an electromagnet. We're, we're going to map out the magnetic field around this. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to actually outline the nail and then put the nail underneath and then we'll sprinkle some, um, some iron filings and you can actually see what the magnetic field is going to look like. So you can now see the magnetic field around the electromagnet with this uh, with a ferromagnetic material. Now I, I know I wasn't I didn't disperse it perfectly, but you can definitely see those lines going from the north, so out of the north and into the south. Now again, out of the north and into the south, that's a convention. The magnetic field doesn't necessarily have a direction, uh, but we give it a direction so that we can be consistent each time, and we say it's out of the north and into the south. But you can see those lines going from north to south on both sides. And this looks very, very similar to a bar magnet. Now the bar magnets that we use generally are stronger than this because I, I just use a nail and a wire. Uh, but the uh, magnetic field should be pretty clear around this. Uh, and it shows uh, the electromagnet has the same magnetic field as a bar magnet.